Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die, an undead legacy of an old guy, Gaming Dan. In this episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last episode. I'm just kind of, I perched myself up on this uh, mountain here uh, when I had to, to log off in the last episode. Uh, so it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we have one more hour before morning, but uh, it looks pretty clear in the desert. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to just keep exploring the map. We're going to head north. Um... Hopefully I can get down here without breaking a leg. <clears throat> uh, we want to head north and then kind of uh, switch over to the east once we get uh, to the far north. So I just have to get out of these, this rugged terrain uh, so I can get out, out into the flat area so we can take off again here. All right, so let's head on out of here. And um, probably... I don't know if I can take off from here or not. It looks pretty rough. I suppose we could try it. What's the worst that could happen? We fall into a canyon? <laughs> no one my luck, right? Okay. And... We're good on fuel. Let's go. Oh, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Incoming enemies. So yeah, we're gonna head to the north. Um, that's the that's the city behind us. But I don't want to go back into the snowbound because it'll probably get all foggy on us again. There's some kind of POI over here. Well, a couple of POIs actually. Let's get a little closer to the coast too, just so we, you know, fully un well not fully, but make sure we've covered uncover the map as thoroughly as is reasonable that looks like a military one of those military places i think and then there's a house uh, further off to the west there Are those buzzards coming after us but they didn't chase vehicles anymore. Maybe that doesn't apply to flying vehicles. Nice flat desert valley there. I would imagine um, on the other side of those mountains it's going to be water. Pretty sure it will be. But we'll confirm that. Let's head over this way. Look at that sky. Beautiful. Oh, when we get back to the base, in terms of next vehicles, I'm gonna I wanna really uh, try and fast track the dune buggy. In fact. That makes that reminds me. We're gonna stop off at our original location, uh, base location, and uh, I have a, a a couple of things there. What what's going on here? Oh, okay. Head back. Not good. Radiation. Um. So there's like no water there then, huh? That's weird. <laughs> It just barely started hurting me, too. Okay, well, we're not going any further that way, then. Did they change that in Alpha 20 to where we didn't have... We're not basically on islands anymore? I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I've been to the border of the map. Um, I don't think that's an undead legacy change. But uh, obviously, we're not going any further west than this, though. <laughs> no siree, Bob. Got a house, a couple houses down there, or actually, maybe a house at a barn? No, two houses, three houses. Okay, well, let's just um, keep heading north here. All right, so it does indeed look like we have a water boundary in the north. 
So let's go ahead and start heading east now. Some POI should pop in down there in a second. That's, uh, yeah, that's one of the those mines. Mine POI. It's been around for a while. And we'll start heading east here. Pretty sure we've been to this town. Let's take a quick look at the map. Uh, maybe we haven't been totally to it. Let's go over and take a look-see at it. Got a nice long runway here. That's Trader Bob, isn't it? Or is it Hugh? No, that's Hugh. Yeah, we... I don't think we found a Trader Hugh on this map. Well, we just now did, anyway. Master, we are not alone. Whoa! I want to be really careful not to shoot my copper because it's already damaged. Oh shit. Get out of here. You too. Yeah, we have not been to this trader yet. Okay, so we just unlocked the new trader. Um, let's mark it. Cool. Alright, let's go talk to him. Good to see you. Good to see you, Ryan. See what you got for sale, man. Iron pickaxe, backpack, potato seeds, sniper rifles. What's that? A steel great sword. Okay. I understand. Let's go talk to Dickweed here. Best keep clear of me. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at your inventory. What do you have, Mang? Got a military 4x4. Four four. He's got a, a scout chopter. SUV. LCR 12. Titanium mounts. Nice. He's got a titanium sledge. How much does that cost? Not that much money. Uh, but I think we can make those. What has he got over here? Double armor pocket mod. Bar brawling. We don't know uh, acid, huh? I think we got plenty of it, though. A go-kart. 25,000. Cool. Uh, all right, well, here, while we're here, we might as well sell that to him. And I don't think there's anything else he has that I would want to sell to him. Or that I have that I want to sell to him. Uh, we'll sell those probably, but I want to fix them up first. Oh, do you have any crossbow bolts by chance? It does not look like it. Okay, steel crossbow bolts. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. To be precise. All right, so I guess that's it for you. We can't rob your cash register anymore, huh? Um, I didn't look... Greetings, friend. Look at him for a cross. This is like a young teenage boy. Is Rex your dad? If he is, I feel sorry for your ass. Okay. Um, nope, I don't see any steel crossbow bolts in here. And not really anything Good. else I'm particularly interested in. Let's take a look in here real quick. Right, and then we got a work 
bench or carpenter table. Lockers are locked. What do you know? Nothing there. There we go. Had more luck going clockwise recently than counter. I'm not even taking that shit. No way, man. I ain't doing it. Um. My senses have picked up something. Hidden stash. Yeah, we'll take all that. We can't. Oh, look at that. There we go. Well, didn't have anything super fantastic in it, though. Working stiff truck. Yeah, we'll take an engine. Certainly. I don't think I can shoot through that, can I? Uh-uh. Nope. Uh, yeah, we'll take all of that, actually. I got lots of steel arrow heads. I just can't make the steel arrows themselves because I haven't come across the magazine yet for it. This little grandpa's moonshine. That is not a lootable container. ATM. Okay, a little vitamin action there. Okay, let's unlock this. I did leave the door open. Probably close it. I think I could probably get through over there, though. All right, let's try counter. There we go. Counterclockwise work for us this time. 358 cash. Not taking that. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, show. What do you have to offer? Uh, I'm gonna sell you some cash, dude. There's a book. Steel books. All right. To where is that cash? Here we go. Thank you, sir. Take oh, care. Damn it, we got poisoned. That's not good. I didn't even notice that until just now. Um, you guys don't have any antidote, do you? What's that? A wooden handle? Bye. Let's go see if Rex Rexy has any. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you, ugly. No antidote there. All right. Well, that's um. Well, that's how not about good. you browse your ass right out of my store? And that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. Let's let's drink some water and we'll take some meat stew. And shoot. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna. That that means we can't stay out forever, of course. So I've got a bad feeling we're gonna about have this. to um. He just increased us by about two percent more too. Damn it, Jim! I don't have any antidote on me, do I? I don't think so. Okay, well, um, yeah, that means we're going to have to go home a little sooner than planned. But, then we don't have to go home immediately, but we just... I guess what I'm trying to say is i got to keep an eye on that. <laughs> okay, so let's take off. I do want to continue heading um, east, though. I want to, at the very least, fly over that city and take a look at it from the air. The one that's in the northeast. Because I only saw it from the ground at night on a motorcycle. So, I need to scope it out and see what it's all about. Plus, we got shitty weather in the desert now, and we can't see here either. So, hopefully, the forest will be better when we get there. Uh, 
Trying to see how far we gotta go. Okay, well, it shouldn't take us too terribly long to get there. All right, so we're actually just north of the city now, so let's start heading south. It's been all gray and gloomy for the whole trip to here, so most likely I'll be cutting that out of the video. But you guys will already know that by the time you're watching this. I see a, some type of high-rise building off in the distance. I don't know if that's a Deshaun or not. There we go. Yep, that is another Deshaun Tower. It's nice to find a city in the forest biome, though. Usually they're in the crappy biomes. So we have a Deshaun, we have a Joe Bros. Looks like we might have the library, too. Yeah, we do have the library. That's cool. We don't have one of those in our city. So yeah, at least we have um, two two of the big skyscrapers in this town. And we need to actually land two and refuel. Why don't we do that? Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to go, go AFK for a bit. Uh, now we're back, and we need to pop some heads. Let's, um, let's do a little bit more flying around of this city before, well, actually, that's right, we're poisoned, aren't we? Yeah, we probably better not dilly-dally too long. I mean, we're okay. We'll be okay as long as we, well, don't dilly-dally for too long. <laughs> uh, but I want to I want to do a little, another, you know, kind of little flyby in the city and just kind of, you know, look at it a little bit more before we take off. Let's see what, what all's here. So, yeah, there's a Joe Bro the bookstore and uh, the Deshaun. So those are the three skyscraper types of buildings anyway. And uh, let's kind of go back to the west a little bit and just look around real quick. <clears throat> Is that another Joe Bro? It looks like there's two Joe Bros. What is, uh, what's this place over here? Sus? Are you suspect? Oh, okay, those are a couple of separate POIs with just that little canal thing between them. I thought that was like a, a whole compound or something. Farm there. Uh, 
Kind of gets more into the residential area on this side. Not a very big city. Courthouse there is a working stiff tool. some more farms on the outskirts of town and then a big big cliff there okay well that's the city then <clears throat> all right let's head uh start heading south now and uh like i said we're gonna stop at our old base location and grab a couple of things that I have stored there uh, including the dune buggy engine uh, because like I said I want to start working towards making the dune buggy I've actually never got the dune buggy <coughs> in uh, the last playthrough that we did uh, so uh, I, I think what at the very end of season one we kind of just spawned some things in and played with them but I, I never legit built it so I want to do that this time around for sure Looks like that's just the eastern border over that way and then we have some mountains up this way let's get into the map for just a second and I want to uh, this is where I, we actually need to go. Uh, so it's going to be more to the southwest. Looks like that gets back into wasteland over there. There's a highway coming through this way, which is good to know for future reference. Um, yeah, okay, so there, this highway, you know, comes all the way through here. Well, that'll be... We'll have to keep that in mind, you know, you know if we come back up here in a wheeled vehicle. And this was our starting town. Spent quite a bit of time here in the early part of the series. I looted just about every every POI in this town. <laughs> I think, uh, maybe and maybe we did loot every single POI. I don't remember, but we got definitely got most of them. That's for sure. Seems like such a long time ago. It was actually quite a long time ago. Many, many, many months ago. And the O'Reilly building is where we had our first base. Okay. So. Stop right here. Now I'm encumbered, so. We don't need that. We don't really need that or that or that. Okay, so let's get into the uh, storage here. Uh, here, let's refuel while we're at it as well. And I'm going to put all of these in there because those are all pretty heavy. Okay. That's empty, that's empty. I left stuff in here. Oh. My senses have picked up something. We got repops. Sounds like they're down below.
Was that? Yeah, that's that's a fat guy. I can't get a headshot off on him. Can't quite hit Biker Billy from there either. We got a couple dudes right down there. Where are my pipe bombs? Did I uh, did I put those in the copter? Well, why would I do that? Goodness gracious. I'm, I'm double checking because sometimes stuff is right in front of my face. All right, well. Here comes Biker Billy. Oh, there's Burner Guy. Is that it for everybody on the roof? Okay. Now, um, what I want to grab out of here is this buggy engine. I guess they're both pretty much in the same shape. Um, we also have a couple truck engines here too, but those are really heavy. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to come back for those individually. Um, I know I have a, at least one, maybe even two aviation engines back at the base too. Uh, so we'll just leave those there, and uh, we should be good to go. Okay, let's get back home and get some antidote going here. We are 22% now into this poison. Not good. Okay, well that was a pretty good um, run around the map, I think. Uh, we haven't explored to the far east. Well, we kind of have explored to the far east. Because that's all along the water. And we know this is pretty much just wasteland there. So, you know, even though we haven't uncovered every square inch of the map, I think we've done a pretty good job of uncovering the significant parts. Um, the city that's up in the forest biome that we just came from, I'm a little bit disappointed with the size of it because it's just not, not really that big. And, you know, the, the other downside, of course, to the forest is that we have a lot smaller loot table, but, you know, it's just the way it works, I suppose. This is a much larger city. Our building just disappeared. That was weird. Uh, 
I'm in for a nice genteel landing. Look at that. It almost makes me look like I know what I'm doing. Okay. Get it turned around here. One of you guys uh, suggested maybe making a, a hangar. Um, think about it, but I don't. We, we don't really have that much room up here on the roof or something like that. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, I'll have to come back and get the stuff on there later because I have this engine in my inventory. So drop down here. And I'll put the buggy engine in here. There we go. Okay, so, um, uh, Anthro. Yes, Anthro. We need that first. That's going to be in here. Oh, that's our last one, too. So we're going to have to make some more, but we can because we have plenty of, um, of the, uh, poison glands. Yeah, we got 11, so what do we need to make more antidotes just so we have them on hand? Oh, we don't know how to make antidotes. I must have bought those from the trader. Um. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to get some more of those be before we get poisoned again. <laughs> or that's not going to go so well for us. So, okay, so let's see here. Um, What all do we need to make the dune buggy? So we, I think we have everything, don't we? Um, what do we have in here? Uh, we got the, we have the engine and we have the frame. So here, let's, oh, actually here, yeah, let's look at this. So we have everything except for the suspension, the seat, and the steering wheel. But it looks to me like we can make those. So let's craft the steering wheel. Let's craft the seat. And the suspension, we just need to make some more pipes. So that is very doable. Um, Let's make... How many more did it say we needed? Uh, where are we at? Here we go. Oh, uh, so we just need 21 more pipes. I'm going to need to make some more pipes anyways for, um, Horde Night, uh, for more pipe bombs. But we'll just make what we need for now. We, we're, we're in pretty good shape overall when it comes to, to metal. Um, if we look in our, our metal thingy here, we've got over a thousand iron ingots. We have 650 steel ingots plus 238 steel plating. And then I've got all this scrap iron here too that will probably end up smelting most of that down because we just don't need that much scrap iron. Um, and we could even start doing that right now. Let's put some this in here and then iron ingot. We can make a total of 471. Let's make, let's do 425. It's going to be 10 minutes. Uh, that's, that's pretty close there. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're actually in very good shape in terms of metal. So I just went out and got a bunch of that not too long ago, along with a bunch of stone, too. Okay, so we're just waiting for those pipes to finish, and then we, we can make the suspension. Uh, and I guess we need to wait for all that to finish, too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to put all this uh, stuff away, get some inventory management done. And then when all of these parts are finished, we will then make ourselves a Dune Runner. Sound good? See you in a bit. All right, guys. We have everything we need to make the Dune Buggy. Let's do it. Ah, oh, crap. It's going to take 10 more minutes. All right. <laughs> Um, I was, I was going to take the doom buggy over to the trader, uh, to get a couple things, uh, but 10 minutes might be a little bit late. So I think we'll just take the motorcycle, uh, over to do that. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, 
Now see if we can get some more poison antidote. Plus I have a few things to sell. And then just kind of look and see what they have for sale. Let's trade. Morning Star Mace. Brutal looking, man. Um, what are these? 4.1? Okay. I, you know what? I didn't bring my pumpkin pie or my... Whatchamacallits. Uh, but the, the selling candy. See you soon. I can't think of what it's called. Pumpkin butts. <laughs> uh, so we'll just... I won't sell that. I'll, I'll wait until we can get a little bit more money from it. From it. Anyway, let's look and see what he's got. No antidotes, man. That sucks. Okay. Got a police sedan. Motorcycle handlebars. 50 cal rounds. Don't... Do we have... Do we have 50 cal? Can't remember. Or maybe we learned the schematic part. Uh, Alright, he doesn't have... He has no antidote. And he doesn't really have anything else that I'm interested in either. Thanks anyways. Let's look you at you one more time again. There. I did look at his secret stash, right? Oh, did I? Maybe I didn't. Oh, we don't know the titanium sledge. Um... I don't remember how much that other one was that we saw at that other trader, but what's that? UMP, nice. Uh, why don't we buy this? I, I think it was around the same amount of money, but yeah, I don't know. It, it, knowing that this is also that the thing is, is then we also have to then put out the resources to make it not that that's that big of a deal I you know I've got plenty of that sort of thing but I don't really want to go all the way back there either so let's just buy it we got we got plenty of money for that sort of thing okay well he doesn't have any antidote, okay so uh, I'm gonna run to sugar butts that's what that candy's called I'm gonna run to the other trader that's nearby, but let's grab a few things out of here. How are we doing on jailbreak? We still have six of those. I'll take a rock buster and eye candy, a couple of those. Yeah, let's buy those two. Might as well. And a hackers. Okay, let's run over to the other trader and see if they have any poison antidotes. If they don't, we just got to really make sure we don't tangle with any scorpions until we can get some more. Look at that MR4. Nice. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, he doesn't have really okay. anything I'm interested in. Looking for something special? Something special? Um, Hector's rat. What we have is uh, much better. Of course, if this got upgraded, it'd probably be pretty good, but... Oh, look at that. A titanium knife. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, but we have a titanium machete, so we're good to go with that. Yeah, he didn't have any either. Dang. That's okay. enough chit-chat for me today. Chitty-chat? All right, let's buy some more candies. Buy some sham, some ravioli, some eye candy, health bar, atom junkies, and two things of peas. Soup stock. We 
I think we need that, don't we? For one of the recipes? I can always get that mixed up with... Uh, yeah, for gumbo. Nice. Okay. I always get that mixed up with... Uh, miso and chicken stock soup. Okay, let's run over to the next trader over this way. We'll just kind of make the rounds until it gets dark. I don't have any skills in blades. Hackers, sugar butts, health bars, and that's good. I actually have quite a few sugar butts. I've got a bad Welcome. feeling about this. Welcome, friend. Welcome, friend. All right. Dudes, I need some antidote. Seriously need some antidote here. What do you got? rounds oh yeah I wanted to try the quad bike out too it's 51,000 look at that an R90 submachine gun cool as you wish no antidote No antidote and no friggin' uh, magazine to make really? steel bolts. You guys suck. Well, actually, wait till I load the alone. weapon. There you go. Uh, all right, what time is it? 19.12. Well, yeah, let's head up to the northern trader. And then that's pretty much going to be all we're going to have time to do before it gets... before they close. Oh, come on. I think Trader Jen is where we got the antidotes the first time, and she is medical, so that gives us a, I guess that gives us a higher chance of getting them here. You would think so, anyway. We've got the best prices in the wasteland. Okay, so nothing here. Batter up volume two. Iron combat. No antidotes, though. Come on, Jin. It's too bad I couldn't help you. Yeah, no shit. Well, maybe next time. Let's trade. What about you, Hagen? Antidotes? He's got a DH-800 for a mere 510,000 coin. No antidotes, though. <coughs> <laughs> All right, well, darn. Could buy that, I suppose. Yeah, that's a that's expensive, man. Okay, whatever. Well, yeah, whatever. Like I said, uh, we're just gonna have to be ultra careful. Uh, not to get nailed by a scorpion. Soup stock, yeah, that's the one that we want. I think chicken soup does not have a recipe. Uh, where's chicken soup? Yeah, so chicken soup does not. And I don't think miso does either, so it's just the soup stock that we want. 
Okay, well, um, yeah, we're just gonna have to be really careful not to get nailed by Scorps. And, uh, nice little texture glitch there. Let's head back to the base, and our dune buggy should be ready by the time we get back. All right, look at this. We have ourselves a dune runner. Fantastic. There she is. Let's get some fuel for it. Take it out for a spin. I don't know how many tanks it's going to take. Looks like two. No, it took three tanks. Okay. Well, if it takes three tanks to fill it up, let's three tanks in its inventory. Oh, look at this thing, man. This is so cool. <laughs> All right, let's take it down and take it for a spin. Okay, here we go. We're up to about 68 miles an hour. Got a little bit of a drift going there. This way. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Ooh. Lots of drift there. Let's take it back over to the ramp by the base. This thing and see if we can get some airtime. We have a clear path there, right? So it's already, according to the speedometer, at top speed. It just, the engine hasn't finished revving up. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're already at top speed, even though the engine's still revving. Yeehaw! Oh, oh well, when I said uh, I wanted to get some air time, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Come on, get out of here before something comes and gets us. God, I had that leftover ramp there. All right, well, that's fun. I'll have to take it out, like, into the, into the boonies and see how it does on, uh, My like, you know, sand something. out in the desert and in the snow and stuff. Pretty nifty, though. All right, um, let's see here. Come on, lag. Oh, shit. Get away from my dune buggy. Okay, so it can store up to 800, and it's got, well, that many slots anyways. 
compared to 6150, but this vehicle, of course, is designed to store stuff, whereas this one isn't. Looks awesome, though. Very cool. This is iconic for Undead Legacy, this vehicle. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Not sure what we'll do, but we'll figure it out. Bye-bye.